Okay, this spreadsheet I'm working on is the chapter two workbook, and I'm going to go to the worksheet school enrollment. And I'm going to show you today how to make a pivot table and a couple of charts. So, as you can see in column A, I have my data. So, basically, the data is students enrolled in specific schools at a college. And I want to get a kind of a number, a frequency of how many students are enrolled in each college as well as the percent. So we're going to go ahead and create a pivot table for this data. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select column A where my data is. At. I'm going to click on insert. Click on the pivot table icon. As you can see, it says select a table or range here. And I already gave defaults to the table and range I selected, which is column A. I'm going to go ahead and choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. I'm going to, just to make it easy, to place it on the existing sheet. Go ahead and collect the, select the location wizard. I'm going to select column D2, cell D2. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it comes over with this pivot table builder, if you would. OK, so on the right here, you see the pivot table field. So this is how it helps me. This area helps me create the pivot table. OK, so I only have one field, pretty simple pivot table, school. So I'm going to go ahead and click on school. And as you can see, down at the bottom here, bottom right corner, it says rows. So now what it did is saying, hey, of your data here in column A, you have art and science, education, human services, health science, School of Business and School of Engineering. Those are my possible choices, if you would. I'm gonna go ahead and take school here, drag and drop it to values. And as you can see, it gives me a count of school. So it gives me the number of students for each school. Art and Science, for example, has 204 students. Education and Human Services, for example, has 187 students, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead again and drop, drag and drop school over here in value. It says count of school two. Okay, that's not what I want. What I want is I want the percent of the grand total. So I'm going to click the drop down. I'm going to select the value field settings. I can change, I'm going to change the custom name to just simply percent. I'm going to show values as I'm going to select here. I'm going to drop down. Percent of grand total. Click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close this pivot table field here for a moment. I could see my pivot table consists of count of school. Again, art and science has 204 students. Education and human services has 187 students, and so on and so forth. But you can see now it gives me a percent. The percent is calculated by 204 divided by 1,000. It gives me 20.4 percent for art and science. 187 divided by 1,000 gives me 18.7 percent for education and human services. So now you can see I have a pivot table with the count and the percent by each school. Now this is blank selection shows up. That's because there's blank rows in column A. I'm going to scroll the way down. I'll show you. Okay, we have a thousand. So you can see there's blank values in column A. All right, so let's go ahead. Back up to the top. I'm going to click this drop down here. I can I can sort this various ways A to Z, Z to A, you know, alphabetically and whatnot. But I can also do this. I can also say blank. I'm going to remove it. A little more cleaner here now. Okay. So let's let's do a couple more quick things here. First of all, I'm going to click anywhere on the pivot table. Right click. Show field list. So it goes back to my pivot table builder, if you would. And I'm going to remove the percent for now. So I'm going to click the wizard here, drop down, remove field. That percent's missing. Okay. We'll come back to that in a moment. Go ahead and close this. So now I'm going to select the rows here in my pivot table. I'm selected. I'm going to go to insert over here, insert tab. I'm going to add recommended charts. I'm going to add a cluster column chart. And there you go. Now I have a bar chart based on this data. A little bit better visual. 
or the bar chart, I can obviously click on any bar, right click, add data label. So this will show me the actual values. There's other things we could do with the chart and we'll go through that in later sessions. So this gives me here a nice bar chart. So my X axis has the school, my Y axis has the count. I'm gonna have one more chart again. I'm gonna select my data. Click on the insert tab. At this time, I'm gonna click on this little icon here, which is a pie chart. <clears throat> there you go, now I have a nice pie chart of my data. Drag and drop it down here. No, sorry, I can click any sub, but when I click on the chart, it gives me the ability to drag and drop it within the worksheet. Let's add a couple of things to the pie chart, make it easy. I'm gonna click on the pie chart anywhere. Right click, add data labels. I'm gonna right click again. And you can see the data labels here, kind of hard to, hard to see, plus it really doesn't tell me any information in a number. So let's click on it again. Format data labels. Data label options, I have um, several options to choose from. So let's do this. We're gonna have the value, percent. We'll click, check that box. I don't need the leader lines. I like the category name. And also for the position, I always like to use outside end. So now let's see what we're going to close my format data labels box here. So now you can see I'll make this a little larger. So now I have each pie segment here shows me the school name, the number, and the percent. Good visual, good representation of the data gives me all the information I need the count, the percent, and the actual one, you know, the school, if you would. So. Okay, that concludes this video on making pivot tables.